what uh, what are, what are your intermediate goals now, Astrid, for NSWIG? You know, they really haven't changed in the last 12 years. <laughs> it's, always, it's always been education, and we've been really good about sticking to our mission. Uh, I don't think we ever veered from our, from our mission uh, ever since we've gotten created. And so um, our most important thing are our educational programs, uh, such as workshops and seminars. And we have a lecture series coming up this year, and we will have a Spanish workshop, our annual Spanish workshop coming up again. Uh, so basically we do English seminars and Spanish seminars. And um, also, um, actually on a monthly basis, our members can enjoy, um, we have like a one-hour educational presentation for like the latest research or latest ideas or techniques. And then during the meeting, members also have a chance to just talk amongst themselves and ask each other questions or give each other's ideas on their farming techniques, current farming techniques. And that's really the key of our group, is just to serve as a tool to exchange um, and promote sustainable agriculture. Now, do, are you trying to educate the consumers as well, or just the, the, the wine-growing community? Um, um, we started out just educating the wine growers, the grape growers, and that is, like I said, that's why we started with the fundraiser, is to reach out to the consumers. Actually, that's the really fun thing about our um, event, our annual fundraising event, is that we have a wine tasting and a buffet, a menu, uh, um, yeah, dinner, and uh, at the, all the booths that are pouring wine, all the wineries pouring wine, they have educational information about the sustainable farming practices that they <coughs> practice in their vineyards. So each winery tells you about their sustainable farming practices that they do. There's a printout, and they can talk to you about it. And then also the, the, the food, the dinner that we offer, it's all made from sustainable and organic produce. So and when and where does that take place? That is um, on August 18th. It's in the evening, and it's going to be taking place at the Napa Silverado Resort. Is that the, the location pretty much every year and about the same time? Every year, same location, um, around the same time of the year, yes. Mm -hmm. And that information is also on NSWG. Yes. So if you, if you are planning a trip to Napa, you might try to include that in your itinerary? You don't want to miss it. <laughs> I was talking about the, the general public and American Feast customers out there who might be, who might be uh, visiting the area. Um, how many people usually go to this event? Uh, last year we had too many, actually. <laughs> last year we had about 450 people. The year before we were 350 people. We're, we try to keep it around 350 and 400 people. That's a good size event. It's yes. a great event. It really is. Over and the silver, I'm sorry, Remy. I was going to say over 20 wineries uh, that are all sustainable pour wine at this event. There's sustainably produced gourmet dinner and um, live music. So it's a really and fun even, time. Yeah, and even the utensils that you use, they're all made from uh, recycled products. And um, the plates, the napkins, the forks, the knives, everything made from sustainable products. Um, I think made from the recycled material. And then, uh, oh, and they're biodegradable. And then we also actually have local environmental agencies just there and showing the things that they do for the watershed, for our environment in the valley. And yeah, and, and well, and then the Silverado Resort itself is just an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, the, the event takes place outside under the huge oak tree grove, so it's a really beautiful event. Well, it was it was very nice of you guys to take the time today. And when you're in Napa Valley, please uh, visit some of these sustainable wineries in Maryvale. And if you have any questions, uh, check out uh, nswg.org.